Unraveling. Clarify that for me. Mastering polite requests in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we make learning English fun and easy. Today, we're diving into a very common but crucial phrase in English communication. Clarify that for me. This simple request can be a powerful tool in your language arsenal, helping you navigate conversations with more confidence. So, if you've ever found yourself in the middle of a discussion, feeling a bit lost or uncertain, you're in the right place. Let's break it down together. Clarify that for me is a phrase used when you're asking someone to make a statement or instruction clearer. It's all about seeking more information or a better explanation to ensure you fully understand what's being communicated. This phrase is particularly useful in situations where the topic is complex or detailed. You've missed part of the conversation. You're learning something new and need additional explanation. Understanding when and how to use this phrase can significantly improve your communication skills, making interactions smoother and more productive. When asking someone to clarify something, it's crucial to maintain a polite and respectful tone. The phrase, clarify that for me, is inherently polite, but your tone of voice and body language can also convey respect and patience. Remember, the goal is to foster positive communication, not to challenge or criticize the speaker. In some contexts, you might want to soften the request further or make it more formal, depending on whom you're speaking with. For example, in a casual setting, could you explain that a bit more? In a formal or professional setting, would you mind clarifying that point for me, please? To truly master using, clarify that for me, practice is key. Try incorporating it into your daily conversations, whether you're speaking with native speakers or fellow learners. Here are a few tips. Listen actively to the responses you receive, as this will help you learn how to clarify your own statements in the future. Pay attention to context. Notice how the phrase is used differently in various situations. Role play scenarios with friends or language partners where you might need to ask for clarification. We hope this video has shed some light on how to use, clarify that for me, effectively in your English conversations. Remember, asking for clarification is not just about ensuring you understand, it's also a sign of an engaged and active listener. So. Don't hesitate to use this phrase whenever you need a bit more information. Keep practicing, stay curious, and you'll find your communication skills improving day by day. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.